Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Sui Coden. In the last episode, we got to Seek Valley. In this episode, we're going to be continuing through Seek Valley. I'm going to put that on Sylvina. I believe it's actually, uh... What's the name? I can't think of the name right now. I don't know why. Get his name, crap. Could this be Moonlight Weed? Probably. That's Moonlight Weed, alright. It's just it's restorative. Who's that? Come on out! I'm impressed that you made it this far, but I can't let you leave with the Moonlight Weed. Whoever you are, we've had a rough time getting here. We're taking this stuff. My, what an energetic young man, but I'm talking to Tay right now, so please be quiet. Tay, you must be getting tired of the Liberation Army game. You will give me the rune on your right hand, the Soul Eater. Don't look so angry, Tay. I have something more elegant in mind. Come on, Ted. It's been a long time, Tay. You sure were cruel to leave me behind on my own. But I forgive you. We're old friends. Now, will you give me back the rune I lent you? I was able to live 300 years because of that rune, so I need it. Please give it back. With how much Ted himself was saying, do not do this, please keep it out of her hands no matter what, I'm gonna say no on this. The rune... Strange connecting re connection remains between the rune and the one who carried it. That is, me. I'm speaking to you through the rune. My body has been taken over by Wendy's Conqueror rune and is no longer mine. The Conqueror rune will take my soul. Tay must pr promise to forgive me for what I'm about to do. What was that? Ted, hurry up and take the Soul Eater. Please, Tay, give me back my rune, or else I'll take it by force. I will not give you the Soul Eater. Oh, so you plan to fight Ted? You kill your own father, send your servant Grimio to his death, and now you want to fight your best friend? How sinful you are. Soul Eater, I spent 300 years with you. I know all about you. The meaning of your curse, your evil intentions. On the day I lost my home, you stole the souls of everyone I knew in this world. During the 300 years of wandering, you caused great wars and plundered countless souls. Including Odessa's, and Tay's father's, and Gremio's, you took them all! You steal the souls of those closest to your master and grow in power. Ted, what are you talking about? Hurry up and get the Soul Eater! Having the Soul Eater near me has given me power. Just enough power to move my own body. Now, Soul Eater, I command you as your former master. Take my soul now! Dang it, unbelievable! I have to... Detestable creature. I'll take that room from you someday. Don't look like that, Tay. I chose my own path. I think it's farewell for sure this time. Take care and live your life to the fullest, for my sake too.
This must be Moonlight Weed. Everyone's waiting. Let's hurry and take some home. Whoever has the Soul Eater must live the life of contradiction. Really is a curse of contradiction because the more you love the things around you, the more the soul eater will try to steal their souls, and uh yeah. I didn't want to mention that the rune was actually eating people, because I figure there's probably a lot of people who think that the rune's power gets upgraded per chapter, not per soul that's dead. Because each death of every character is a chapter in itself that is now finished. And I didn't want to mention that, you know, to anybody that their souls were actually being eaten. And that's why every time they would touch you, shortly after that they'd die. So the final abilities of, um... Now we finally have an ability that will actually do a lot of damage. Um... But yeah, it... I didn't expect Ted to come back like that, and I didn't expect Ted to die either, but it just goes to show that... One thing I really love about Suikoden games... Is that there's a lot of that happens. Well, specifically, you know, this game. Like, there's a lot that happens. And despite all that, like, the characters push through it and still, you know, are positive about things and trying to make a difference and move forward. And there's a lot of games and shows and stuff like that where only one thing might happen. But in this game, on several occasions throughout the story, at perfect intervals, has something happened really bad things to have happened. Sure, you've returned safely. You're back, Amelia. Yes, sir, Joshua. Here's the Moonlight Weed. Next, we need the Black or Dragon Orchid. I'm ready to go anywhere in the world for it. But there's a problem. What is it? Which went alone to Greg Minister Palace to get it. The only place where one can obtain the Black Dragon Orchid is the floating garden of Grim Greg Minister. Shouldn't have mentioned it in front of him. The bravery of Footch. Okay, wait here, Black. I'll be right back. Somebody's bound to find me if we go further. Dang, there's so many that I don't know which one's the Black Dragon Orchid. Hmm, this one looks like the one that Unicorn described. You're right, that is a Black Dragon Orchid. Who is it? That is my question, young man. You must be aware that this is Imperial Garden. You're the Emperor! I never thought I'd run into a flower thief in the sleepless night. Judging from your outfit, you must be a Dragon Knight. Yes, Your Highness, I'm Flitch, Dragon Knight's Knight class. Apprentice, and what might you be doing here? I came to get a Black Orc Dragon Orchid, Your Highness. Please let me go. I really need this orchid to wake up the other dragons. Dragons? It must be windy again. Young man, you must leave immediately. You'll let me go? 
Hurry while I still feel generous. Yes, Your Highness. Ding. Phew, was that really the Emperor? Must have been. That sheer presence. But he sure was different from all those rumors. He let me go and... Oh well, now that I have the Black Dragon Orchid, I'd better hurry home, right, Black? Oh, I'm just in time. Who are you? I've already got the dragon, Black Dragon Orchid. Bye! What's an old cooth boy? You shall be punished. Ah! Fudge. Fudge? Are you alright, Fudge? Wake up, Fudge! I must bring back the Black Dragon Orchid. <laughs> it appears you're awake. Huh? What? Where am I? Where's the orchid? Don't worry, we found you unconscious in the forest. You had the black dragon orchid in your hand. We had a hard time prying it loose. I see them, the dragons. Yes, I made the antidote from the three ingredients and gave them to the dragons. They should be awakening soon. Thank God. Dr. Lucan, what was the third ingredient? <laughs> the third ingredient. Is something the matter? I'll tell you. The third ingredient was a dragon's liver. And it came from... Not I... Black. I'm afraid that when we found him, Black was already dead. Hate me if you want, but we had no choice. But Black... Commander Tay, Joshua's dragons have awakened. Let's go to Joshua's quarters and drop an alliance pact between the Liberation Army and the Dragon Knights. He should agree to help us now. You're right, he hasn't committed to an alliance yet. Commander Tay, on behalf of the Dragon Knights, I thank you. Well then, Joshua? Looks like we'll be fighting together again, side by side. But against a different enemy this time. Commander Tay, the Dragon Knights will join you to defeat the Empire. Joshua joins. Now we can finally return to Lake Castle! I can't smell this tan the smell of dragons. I'll free out a request. Request? Come in, Futch. You know what this is about, Futch. Yes, sir. A dragon knight who has lost his dragon must leave the dragon's den. Now that you've lost Black, I cannot keep you here. I understand, sir, but Black probably died to save my life. But you don't blame yourself. I'm alright. I just want to believe that Black saved me. I'm free, will you take Futch with you? You don't have to worry about him if he's with you. I understand. Thank you, sir. Commander Tay, when war breaks out, I'll rush, we'll rush to your aid. Master Tay, Master Louis Khan wanted to return, so we're about to fly in the Mountain Dragon. Would you and the rest of your men like a ride too? No, thank you. Well, uh, um, sure. Fine. We'll be waiting out front. I'll be waiting out front with Tarash. Butch, take care. Someday you may be able to return. Yes, sir. Hey, don't look so depressed. I'll teach you how to use a sword. Butch joins. Nice braid, also, dude. Please take good care, Butch. Master Tay, if you're ready, I'll fly you home on Thrash.
What are you talking about? Don't you trust my instincts? Your instincts don't make me laugh. Thanks to you, our instincts, we almost got captured by the Imperials, remember? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't quite myself that time. What's the problem here? I'm saying that I have a hunch. He's a spy for sure, that's why he won't talk. That doesn't necessarily mean he's a spy. What's going on here? Oh, uh, welcome back, Sir Flick, Master Tay. Yeah, how ladylike you try to be in front of Tay. But for you, it's a lost cause. Ugh. Watch your mouth, you rat! What the? What the need? Apparently, the spy's been captured. I'm back. What's your meeting with the knight? Dragon Knight's a success. Uh huh. Did you manage to secure an alliance? Don't worry, medical officer. It's just that Humphrey could be a little friendlier to others. Uh huh. By the way, who is the silent fellow here? Cosme and Corinne captured him hanging around the castle. But he refuses to say anything, so we're waiting for you to come back and decide what to do with him. Tay! Are you Commander Tay of the Liberation Army? Thank goodness, now I can complete my mission before Master Warren. I kept silent because I was under strict orders not to speak to anyone until he met you face to face. Kazim Hazil, who took over the northern defenses after Tail McDowell, has recently begun to, to apply extreme pressure on rebel factions. He's looking for a comeback. My Master Warren is a famous man of wealth in the North, long respected even by the Imperials. But as a man of honor and generosity, he harbored many fugitives in his mansion. As a result, his home was surrounded by Kazim Hazil and his troops. Master Warren and Sir Victor, who just happened to drop by, fought hard against the Imperials. But they were eventually taken over by the power. That's what Master Warren told me to tell you. Commander Tay, Victor is one of our most powerful soldiers. Warren, despite his wealth, is a honorable man with a large following, but must go and rescue them. At present, Kazim Hazil's troops number more than 8,000. Their trained army wars, we're just a ragtag bunch. Commander Tay, despite its name, the Liberation Army is yet a unified army. Sorry, the kitten decided she wanted pets. To continue fighting in the future, we need to give the troops some proper military training. I don't know! I mean, I'll just give them some brooms, some cans they can put on their head, and just send them out into battle. Okay, I agree. Let me make the necessary preparations. I suggest you retire now, Commander Tay. You have a busy day ahead. Change your party members immediately. We're gonna get rid of Flick, Humphrey, Selena, and not Stallion, but... We're gonna try to prioritize getting that guy first. So we're gonna need to put... Loose. Mies and Moes. And what the heck. We're gonna actually start having this guy in our party from now on. So I'm kind of tempted to put him in. Pasmerga. Because I'd like to upgrade him, but also just have him in the party to show him off. As you can see, 661 HP. At a lower level than me, so he's very strong. To the basement we go. We're gonna get this guy before we end off the episode, just because it's, uh, important. So you might be like, how the heck are you gonna get there if the Dragon Knights are in your base? That is because the dragon's still here. Thrash is still here and will take you to this, that place, no matter what point you are in the story. You, as long as you can come back here, he will be here. But, if you complete the next part bit of story without doing this, you will miss out on that one guy. Unfortunately. You'll miss out on the blacksmith. So we're gonna be going back as fast as we possibly can to get that guy. Zoom, zoom, dragon. Thank you, Thrash.
take the paths on the right. Why not? But Pazmerga is going to be my head tank for this, uh, endeavor. Master! Here you are. You disappeared without a warning. Master Mace, we are now members of the Liberation Army. We have not forgotten what you taught us. That is why we chose the path we deemed correct. Master Mace, please give us your support. You've all grown up. Funny to rot here away alone, but perhaps I'll take on one more job. Master Tay, I'm at your service. And with Master Mace, we now have every single blacksmith in the game. Now that we have him, we can uh, upgrade our weapons to the maximum level that they can be leveled at. Which is really freaking awesome. But it also is very expensive. And this is again where I would say, you know, getting 999 coins by scamming the gambler is definitely a very good way to make the money that's necessary to upgrade all your weapons. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. With that, though, in the next episode, we will be continuing further in the game, reaching closer and closer to the end game point. See you guys then.